Next article is Article 4. This is the revolving funds article. The article states, to see if the town will vote to authorize the following revolving funds for certain town departments under Mass General Law Chapter 44, Section 53, E and a half for the fiscal year beginning July 1st, 2015. And as you can see, each of the different departments and those are the revolving funds. And further, to see if the town will vote to accept the provisions of Mass General Law Chapter 60, Section 15B, establishing a revolving fund for tax titles. That's new this year. And to further see if the town will vote, uh, yeah, vote to raise an appropriate 1800 to provide startup money for the tax title revolving fund. So the only new revolving fund this year is the tax title revolving fund. Do I hear a motion? Second. Any discussion on Article 4? Edwin? <coughs> Hello? Oh. Uh, Edwin Matusko, 116 Stockbridge. Uh, the last one, uh, raise and appropriate $1,800 to provide startup money for tax title revolving fund. What, what are we doing with, you know, what's a tax title, what are we doing with that? Very good question. Mr. Nixon? Good evening. I see that uh, Ms. Susan Golowatsky is here and she can address some of the issues associated with tax titles. Um, well, basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to keep taxpayers who pay their bills on time from subsidizing our efforts to go after delinquent taxpayers. Uh, so we have transferred from the collector's budget $1,800 that we used annually to um, uh, um, collect on delinquent taxes uh, and we've put it into this revolving fund as seed money, as startup money so that we have some money in there in order to pay the bills that, we're, that we are uh, that we usually have to in order to uh, um, collect delinquent taxes. Do you want to amplify on, on, the, uh, on the article? Sure. Uh, Susan Kowalski, is this on? Oh, turn it on please. Susan Glowatsky, 125 Middle Street, also uh, the tax collector for the town of Hadley. Um, the legislature just approved this year uh, in January uh, to allow to have a tax title revolving account. Uh, essentially, my budget used to have $800 in it to advertise delinquent taxes and $1,000 for the filing fee uh, for the uh, instrument of taking uh, at the Registry of Deeds. Uh, it seemed prudent to me to take that out of my budget since it was a self-sustaining account because anytime the tax titles are paid off, uh, the taxpayer has to pay all associated fees with collection. Thank you, Susan. Any more questions? All in favor of the revolving funds in Article 4, raise your green card. Opposed? Passes unanimously. On to Article 5, which is the omnibus budget. Article 5 states, to see if the town will raise an appropriate or transfer from available funds a sum of money for the maintenance and operation of the town in the fiscal year 2016 as recommended by the Finance Committee, including debt and interest, and to fix the salary of all elected officials, including, if appropriate, select board, town clerk, town collector, town treasurer, town assessor, town constables, board of health, electoral under the will, Oliver Smith will, planning board, park and rec commission, and to provide a reserve fund or take any action thereto. This article is recommended 400 by the select board and I am going to let the finance committee speak to it at this time. Chairman Howard Koski.
We'll read through the, the handout that everybody should have got at the table coming through, which is the uh, recommended budget for FY16. Town moderator, $100. Select board, salary chair, $1,400. Members, $1,200 for a total of $4,800. Other salaries, $45,449. Expenses, $13,675 for a total of $65,324. Administrator, salary, $88,370. Expenses, $3,000 for a total of $91,370. Finance Committee, salary, chair, $200. Members, $150 each for a total of $600. Expenses, $250 for a total of $1,050. The Reserve Fund, $50,000. Town Accountant, salaries, $69,184. Expenses, $26,425 for a total of $95,609. Assessors, salary, chair, $2,678. Members, $2,142 each for a total of $4,284. Other salaries, 63408 Expenses, 20272 for a total of 90642 Treasurer, salary, $58,293. Other salaries, $37,070. Expenses, $26,350 for a total of $121,713. Tax collector, salary, $58,300. Other salaries, $35,828. Expenses, $11,481 for a total of $105,609. Town Council uh, legal expenses, $36,380. Town Clerk salary, $54,408. Other salaries, $13,836. Expenses, $86,000. $8,650 for a total of $76,894. Board of Registrars, salaries $7,120. Expenses $5,500 for a total of $12,620. Conservation Commission, expenses $3,050. Planning Board, salary chair $600. Salary clerk $500. Members $400 each for a total of $1,200. Expenses, $9,730 for a total of $12,030. Board of Appeals, salaries, $2,445. Expenses, $1,220 for a total of $3,665. Long Range Plan, $2,500. Property Insurance, $113,000. Town Buildings, the Senior Center, $47,300. Town Hall, $67,150. North Hadley Hall, $20,300. Russell School, $8,800 for a total of $143,550. Mr. Moderator, I move the previous line items. Do I have a second? Any discussion on the following line items that were read by Chairman Kosky? All in favor of voting said line items. Raise your green card. Anyone opposed? Passes unanimously. We'll continue on with the omnibus budget. Police salaries, $872,353. Expenses. $157,775 for a total of $1,030,128. Fire salaries, $223,924. Expenses, $103,100 for a total of $327,034. Sorry. Communication Center, salaries, $224,101. Expenses, $50,580 for a total of $274,681. Ambulance, expenses, $130,000.
building inspector, salaries, $86,787. Expenses, $4,290 for a total of $91,077. Gas inspector, salary, $3,292, expense, $670, total $3,962. Plumbing inspector, salary, $5,740, expense, $670, for a total of $6,410. School department, salaries and expenses, $6,467,520. Highway construction and maintenance, salaries, $442,386. Expense, $290,299 for a total of $732,685. Snow and ice, salaries, $68,573. Expense, $99,649 for a total of $168,222. Street light lighting, expenses, $21,840. Highway building maintenance expenses, $66,950. Cemetery, salaries, $5,340, expenses, $12,453 for a total of $17,793. Board of Health, salary chair, $1,850, salary clerk, $1,650. Member, $1,450. Other salaries, $11,100. Expenses, $20,485 for a total budget of $36,535. Council on Aging, salaries, $71,879. Expenses, $3,935. Total $75,814. Veterans Services Expenses $100,000. Oliver Smith Will Elector Stipend $100. Cable TV Public Access Zero. Public Library Salaries $122,729. Expenses, $72,738 for a total of $195,467. Park Commission, Salary Chair, $420. Members, $315 each, $630. Other Salaries, $49,887. Expenses, $5,665, for a total of $56,602. Historical Commission expenses, $1,250. Long-term debt, principal, $759,507. Interest, $113,990 for a total of $873,497. Mr. Moderator, I move the previous line items. Thank you, Lynn. I have a motion and a second. Any questions about the following line items? Hi, I'm David Albine, 57 Huntington Road. A uh, big fan of our public access television service, and so the zero got my attention. Um, and I appreciate all the work that's gone into putting this budget together. I know it hasn't been an easy year. Um, I just want to register my concern uh, about the town not contributing, as we have for so many years, to this public, uh, it's, a, it's a town department, unlike many other communities where the public access is a private nonprofit, ours is a, a department of the town, and so I think it's very important that we continue contributing uh,
part of the TV5 or the public access budget from town revenues. Um, I don't see any other uh, department in town uh, zeroed out essentially for uh, town contributions, so I'd like to state this concern. And I'm wondering if there's any information the Finance Committee could offer about, about the situation. Howard Kosky, Chairman. As you, as you noted, uh, if you look back the prior year, uh, the town contributed $15,285 for a salary and $1,020 for expenses for a grand total of $16,305. Um, TV5 is one of those um, unique um, setups where there is uh, a fund that is available to draw uh, from the charter account. Um, the way we have our budget set currently, um, we were unable to fund it at, at that amount. Uh, as you can see at the bottom of page three, um, we are at a roughly $2,900 deficit. Uh, so we were doing everything that we could to get through uh, this town meeting. Um, Charter cable. It appears to be, if I'm reading this right across here, it is $80,131, and the capital uh, charter account was $74,579. What we plan to do is to um, go through uh, the process, uh, to review the process of, of uh, this year's budget, uh, see what can be improved. Uh, there were a number of departments that had uh, similar concerns, uh, although none were cut to, to zero. Uh, none of them had the ability to draw on funds from, from that account. Um, we will go through during the summer and see if uh, exactly what can be done to uh, restore funds to TV5 and in uh, what amounts. And that would be addressed at the fall town meeting. Okay, I'll look forward to the fall town meeting then. Joanne Konetsny, 334 River Drive. Mm -hmm. um, my question, I guess, is kind of similar. Um, I apologize for bringing it up on town meeting floor, but we were not notified before that the library budget was going to be cut. So um, we just wondered if you had a little bit of explanation about that. Was it the salary line item or the expenses that was cut? It was both, I believe. Both? Oh, just salary. Salary. This. <laughs> Again, the process that, that went through was the budget that was submitted by the library, was reviewed by the town administrator, the town administrator and the select board go through to see what they can do. They held a number of hearings on the process. They then um, make uh, a recommendation um, to the finance committee. They give us a proposed budget. We reviewed it and in the context that's what what we went with. So when you, know, when you take a look at the second column you'll see that it was 122,729 that came from the, uh, the select board process through the, through the various meetings that, that have occurred since January. So I guess it's just a little bit of a procedural question. Like, is there any point where you call in a department and say, your budget's been cut, let's talk about it? That's, I guess, I'm not trying to cause trouble, I'm just asking. We, over the past 20 years, we have gone through the budget in numerous uh, methods. Uh, it had been the practice that the, uh, we would get the budget in January and that the Finance Committee would hold hearings um, through and sit down with department heads and do that. This year we tried a process that we were combined with the select board and sat through various budget meetings where every town department came in. We were there, but we had no idea when we left that we it was not mentioned that we would be cut. So I'm just asking procedurally how it works, that's all. Okay. You want to go forward? Um, 
I apologize if we, you didn't get officially notified of what we were doing, but we talked about it. Uh, sorry, Guilford Mooring, chair of the select board. We talked about it rep repeatedly um, during the budget hearings that we were taking out the colas and the step okay. raises of all the town departments and setting them aside for a discussion at um, fall town meeting. So the difference you're seeing is the okay. steps and the colas, and we took them out of all the town departments and set them aside for a discussion at fall town meeting. So Thank that's you. what you're missing. Thank you so much. Andy Morris, Friedman, 45 Roosevelt Street. I just want to speak in favor of HPAT, formerly known as TV5, and the great job Richard is doing uh, for our town. I hope this cuts are restored. Without him, we can't see what a great job you all are doing. Thank you. Chet Abel, 127 East Street. In some instances, they break an organization down with the top salary and then just salaries. In another instance, they just list salaries. And for uniformity, wouldn't it be best if everyone knew um, what the head of each department made and then this appropriate salaries? Well, I think somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. I believe you see what you're talking about is some of the boards where there's elected officials, like say the collector's department, the first salary is the collector's salary and then the other salary line item is the people that work in that office with her. If we were to do that for say the school, and actually the school has had public hearings and they do have a detailed um, line item budget and if anybody's interested we can get you a copy of that surely but um, this document would be quite large if we went through each of these major departments and listed out all salaries also it's in your if you go to the back table and you get the town report it'll be in there okay thank you okay thank you for the question Shell Horowitz 16 Barstow Lane I am confused about um, what Mr. Koski said regarding TB5 and the pot of money from Charter and the pot of money from the town which is currently set to zero and how that might affect benefits for Mr. Truswell and also pointing out that he serves both a um, journalistic and a historian function in making the deliberations of town bodies available to the public and um, I, I did notice, I was on the website today, that there were a number of archived public events there that we people can look at anytime they want to, which is a very valuable service. So I, I do want to make sure that we're covering our bases and, and get more clear explanation on how that stands. I believe Richard's getting paid and his benefits at this time. Uh, Gil for morning again, Chair of Select Board. So the funding source for HPAT is coming directly from the fees and that are collected from Charter TV. There, the department has not been cut to zero. No one's working for free. The HPAT's not being turned off. HPAT is kind of being treated this way this year, the same way we treat the water fund and the sewer fund. The customer service fees are paying for the service this year. We will look at HPAT again in the fall and see where we are with money and revenue. And if we have more money than we thought, we're going to restore some of the town funding and let some of the funding from the um, charter account go back to the charter account. But we have almost $200,000 in two different charter accounts. Um, and we wanted to use some of that money so we didn't have to make cuts in other parts of the budget. We, we understand that this is a very valuable part of the town. We, we love it. I love to see Richard's face every select board's meeting. Um, he keeps me from saying things I would say that are kind of weird, so I appreciate that. So could I just ask a clarifying question? So what I'm hearing you say is that there is a fixed sum for his salary and benefits, and what's fluctuating is the percentage of town versus private. Correct, but okay. it's, all, it's all coming from the charter account this year. Just the funding. Right? 
Any further questions on any of the line items? Hearing none, I'll call any, all in favor. Raise your green card. Opposed? One, two, three, four opposed. On to page three. Benefits, retirement, $917,931. Workman's comp, $50,000. Unemployment, $12,946. Health insurance, $1,190,000. Life insurance, $2,300. Uh, $2, Medicare town share, 128,605 accident insurance 45,000 for a total of two million three hundred and forty six thousand seven hundred and forty two dollars seven hundred eighty two excuse me thank you uh, wastewater division salaries two hundred and eighty two thousand seven hundred dollars reserve fund ten thousand dollars Long-term debt, principal and interest, $140,302. Other expenses, $437,800 for a total of $870,802. Water division, salaries, $356,440. Reserve fund, $10,000. Long-term debt, principal and interest, $169,252. Other expenses, $458,851, for a total of $994,543. Mr. Moderator, oh, excuse me, grand total, the entire budget for $15,914,790. Mr. Moderator, I move the previous line items. Thank you, Bill. I have a motion and a second. Any questions on the line items on page three? Hearing none, all in favor? Raise your green card. Opposed? Motion passes. On to article six. Do we have to read that motion? Okay. Seeing how we've gone through the line item of the budget, I will now read the motion with the funding sources. Article 5. Article five. Move that the town raise and appropriate the sum of $13,660,256 and appropriate from sewer receipts $1,023,383 and appropriate from water receipts $1,201,707. Transfer from water reserves, 10,000. Transfer from sewer reserves, 10,000. And to take from MSBA debt fund reserve, $2,444. Transfer from a, a gift from the Friends of the Council of Aging, $7,000. For the maintenance and operation of the town in fiscal year 2016, as recommended by the Finance Committee, including debt and interest, and to fix the salaries of all elected officials, including, if appropriate, select board, town clerk, town collector, town treasurer, town assessor, town constables, board of health, electoral under the Oliver Smith Will, planning board, and park and recreation commission, and to provide a reserve fund. That is the official motion. All in favor, signal your, with your green card. Motion passes.